minority in Parliament has noted with grave concern a ruling by the International Court of Arbitration against the government of Ghana over the termination of an emergency power plant agreement with GPGC. The ruling ordered the government of Ghana to pay the full value of the early termination, amounting to $134 million. In addition to that, the state is supposed to pay accrued interest of $30 million and also pay at the rate of six-month LIBOR, 3.3 million of the cost in relation to the arbitration. And so when you put all that together, it means that the state is paying about $164 million. This ruling that comes in the wake of a struggling economy, which is already choking with huge and unsustainable debt, would only contribute largely to the suffering of the ordinary Ghanaian and also jeopardize our future international agreements. This abrogation clearly demonstrates a lack of respect for the sanctity of contracts and has the potential of scaring away investors. We equally note from the 194-page judgment and ruling that the haste with which the former Minister of Energy, Mr. Boachia Jaku, terminated this particular agreement against expert advice from the PPA committee is largely responsible for this embarrassing development that has dented the image of Ghana and the standing of Ghana internationally. Because if you refer to the document from the International Court of Arbitration, paragraph 492 of the 194-page document, it is clearly stated that if the minister and the state had opted for a settlement termination would have paid a maximum of $18 million. What it means is that the state would have saved a whopping $146 million if we had even opted for a settlement. On the contrary, this government decided that they would terminate the agreement against all expert advice, against advice from the minority, against advice from civil society, and today we are saddled with a $164 million debt that we have to pay when we could have settled for only $18 million. This is unfortunate because on the 13th of March, Mr. Boachia Jaku wrote a letter terminating that agreement under very bizarre circumstances. And even more surprisingly, of late, he has sought to justify that action with a so-called cabinet decision. If cabinet tells you to terminate, there are laid down processes and procedures. And so we wish to state that we are highly disappointed in this development. It is becoming obvious that the Akufuado led government has failed Ghanaians. Not only has it failed to live up to its promise, it has brought the energy sector on its knees with crippling debts running into billions of dollars due to inefficiency, managerial incompetence, and unparalleled corruption. Those responsible for this avoidable judgment debt and financial loss to the state must be held liable and punished for this crime against the state. It cannot be business as usual. We cannot gloss over such gross negligence and misconduct on the part of our government officials whose duty it is to serve the interests of the state and not their parochial interest. The minority wish to serve notice that it shall use whatever legitimate processes and means possible, including parliamentary processes, to ensure that those responsible for this huge financial loss are held liable for their commissions and omissions. We would therefore wish to assure the people of Ghana that this matter would be investigated we would go into this matter and ensure that those responsible are held to book because we cannot allow this to continue. The state cannot lose a whopping $164 million due to somebody's negligence.